welcome to aminacademy.com in engineering mechanics let us discuss about overhang beams and overhanging beam is defined as a beam which is freely supported at two points and having one or both ends extending beyond these supports mostly in the overhanging beam one support is hinge support while other is roller support having one end as free like as a cantilever look at this figure this is a overhung beam here the span of the beam is at ab that is uh, it supported the point a and b which is overhung both side that is uh, left side is up to c it is extended and right side up to e that is b is extended now we have to find uh r a support uh, support reaction at r a and r b have to find look at this example a beam of a b of span 7 meter overhang on both side is loaded as shown in figure determine the reaction at the support a and b look at here here uh, the beam is supported at point a and b which is overhung here and this side also the loading is 2 kN at the point c and here 1.5 kN per meter uniformly distributed load up to ab ad and here at d the point load is 6 kN and here also uniformly distributed load 2 kN per meter for 4.5 meter length we have to find the uh, reaction at re and rb now about point about about the point a the anti clockwise moment the anti total anti clockwise moment we have to find total anti clockwise moment here first rb rb into that is uh, 4.5 plus 2.57 from point a that rb reaction rb is at a distance of 7 meter from a that is rb into 7 plus here look at this also the load 2 kN also make anti clockwise moment about a that is 2 into 1.5 which is equal 7 rb plus 3 kN is kN meter is uh, equation 1 now the sum about a the sum of the sum of uh, clockwise momentum clockwise moment clockwise moment look at here about a this clockwise momentum is 6 into 6 into 2.5 that is it's having clockwise momentum as well as uniformly distributed load 1.5 kN up to 2.5 also having a clockwise moment and this uniformly distributed load that is 2 kN per meter for 4.5 meter length also having clockwise moment about the point a we'll do the sum first 1.5 1.5 into this 1.5 kN over 2.5 meter length and the distance of cg is 1 2.5 divided by 2 that is um, your 1.5 into 2.5 into the length of cg is 2.5 over 2 and the second load having clockwise momentum is 6 kN is about a is 2.5 meter 
it's a point load therefore 6 into 2.5 plus this here this is 2 kilo newton per meter is uniformly distributed load over 4.5 meter length and its CG is 4.5 divided by 2 but from point A which is distance from point A to the center of gravity of the B is that is 7 plus 4.5 divided by 2 that will go here 2 into 2.5 uniformly distributed load which is a distance of from point A 7 plus 4.5 over 2. Now we calculate these things having 4.6875 this is this expression having 4.6875 this 16 to 2.5 is plus 9 plus this expression goes 51.75 which total is 65.4375 kilonewton is equation 2 now equating 1 and 2 because clockwise momentum is equal to anti-clockwise momentum so uh, having 1 equal to 2 gives 7 rb plus 3 equal 65.4375 therefore we are having rb equal 65.4375 minus 3 over 7 that is rb we are having by using calculator we are having this is 8.92 kilo newton approximate now sum of downward load is equated sum of upward load that is ra plus rb equal this load sum of these loads that is here Ra plus Rb is the loads R2 is the point load and 1.5 is the uniform distributed load over 2.5 meter length and 6 kilo newton is here Six kilo newton plus and uniformly distributed load that is two two into four point five into 4.5 which gives a total 20.75 we call 20.75 Therefore, already we have Rb is 8.92. Therefore, Ra equal 20.75 minus 8.92. Therefore, reaction at A is 12.12 kilo newton. Therefore, we are having Rb is 8.92 kilo newton and Ra is 12.12 kilo newton. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.